Hi guys, in this video, we are going to see how to use eyedropper tool in Photopea. To get the eyedropper tool, you need to go over here and click on it and you will get this eyedropper and select this eyedropper tool. The shortcut for this eyedropper tool is I or you can go to search and search for eyedropper tool and you can click on it to select it. So this eyedropper tool is used to pick a color from your image for example this image has many colors if i selected the eyedropper tool and click inside the image i'm gonna click on this red area and you can see it is converting this foreground color to red so i'm gonna click on the blue area and you can see it is converted to blue green area it is converted to green pink area and it is converted to pink so this is how we can use eyedropper tool this eyedropper tool is used to select colors from our image. While using the brush tool, pencil tool and uh, paint bucket tool, you can use this eyedropper tool differently. For example, I'm going to select this uh, brush tool. And if you want to select uh, this color, so basically the brush tool is used to draw the foreground color. So you can see the foreground color is now black and I'm going to change to blue and you can see it is painted in blue color. So if you want to change the color and you need to pick the color from the image, you don't need to go to eyedropper tool and select it and select the color, then go to brush tool and draw. Instead of you can use the shortcut, you can press alt key. While pressing alt key, you can see the cursor is converted into cross. Now click on the area, you need to select the color. So I'm gonna select the color red and press left click on your mouse and you can see the sampling ring, top color. Red is the newly selected color. The bottom one is the later one. So now you can see the foreground color is changed to red. So this is the shortcut way you can use eyedropper tool while using a brush tool, bucket fill tool and pencil tool. And next one is tools option for eyedropper tools. First one is sample size. The sample size one by one means one by one pixel. It is the point sample, which means if I click the area over here, it will select that pixel. If I click on three by three, it will take the average of three by three pixel. And sample five by five pixel means if I click on over here and it will averages 5 by 5 pixels colors and create a new color as our foreground color. I'm going to show in example. So I'm going to create a new layer and select the pencil tool with size 1 pixel and click on it. Zoom in to see. So this is the 1 pixel. So while with sample size 1 by 1 and click on here. It will select the same color i'm going to show again i'm going to select the yellow color as a foreground color and select the eyedropper tool and click on it you can see it is changing the color to this color now i'm going to change the sample size to three by three and click on here and you can see it is giving black color because it will select from additional pixel over here so there is no pixel right now but it will select from additional pixels and averages it for example i'm gonna add different uh, colors select the pencil tool and i'm gonna add different colors so this is a three by three so now i'm gonna select the eyedropper tool with sample size three by three and i'm gonna click on the middle and you can see it is not selecting this color but averages the whole colors and this will result in this color so to find the average color you can uh, use this option called filter blur and it's will called average and average blur you can see these all three by three averages give this exact color so i can guess you understand what i am trying to say if i select three by three and click on the middle it will averages all these colors and select that color same goes for by five by five i'm going to show quickly 
and this is the 5 by 5 pixel size so i'm going to select the eyedropper tool and the sample size is in 5 by 5 and i'm going to click on here and it will give the average color let me show you filter blur average and you can see this color and this color are the same so this is the sample size next one is the source right now we have all layers which means the color can be picked from all layers so i'm gonna add a new image as a layer so i just dropped in this uh, rubik's cube and now the source is in all layers which means we can select from all the layers so right now the rubik's cube layer is selected but can also pick color from this hexagon layer so i'm going to select the green color you can see it is changing to that green color so i'm going to change the source layer to current layer only which means it can select only from this rubik's cube layer for example i'm going to select this uh, orange color and you can see it is not selecting that color it is converted to black color which is the transparent on this rubik's cube layer so current layer means we can only select from this layer that is active which means for this example it is a rubik's cube layer so we can select the color from this rubik's cube layer current and below means we can select from this rubik's cube layer and the background layer and if any layers below that we can't select from this layer so that is the source the next one is a sampling ring right now it is checked sampling ring means if i click you can see the ring appearing on the screen so that is a sampling ring if i turn off there will be no sampling ring you can see the color is changing over here but there is no sampling ring so zoom in means it will zoom in so you can see inside the sampling ring it is uh, showing the zoomed in image so that's it this is how the eyedropper tool works in photo p so thanks for watching if you like this video give thumbs up subscribe this channel for more future tutorials also press the bell icon so that you can get instant notification when you upload a video thanks for watching and bye